Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and of course, continuing on with the review marathon of classic live-action Disney films, now we're reviewing from 1971, that's right, Bedknobs and Broomsticks. This film, I have to say, it's enjoyable, I do love it, it's a really good classic Disney live-action film, and I... Um, you know what, one of their gems, I don't see why not. Um, you know, because it's from the, you know, as it, I guess it says from like the poster, trailer, or DVD, whatever, from the studio that brought you Mary Poppins, and yeah. You know, doing the, kind of the exact same things like what Mary Poppins did, you know, uh, what the movie does. With the cast of characters, um, everything, that go, the music, the songs, you name it, and the visual effects as well. Um, of course, you know, you have, uh, with the characters, Miss Price, played by Angela Lansbury, and the children, uh, Charlie, Carrie, and Paul, they're all played by Ian Way Wayhill and, uh, Cindy O'Callaghan and Roy Snart, yeah. That's literally how, it's, how his name is spelled, his last name spelled, S-N-A-R-T, Snart, so... The rest of the characters, like, you also have, of course, um, Emilius, I think that's how you say his name right, um, played by David Tomlinson, so he is in this too, um, you know, from Mr. Banks to this role, so, and, uh, the late legendary actor, you know, Roddy McDowell in this too, uh, has a small role, technically, plays Mr. Jelk, yeah, I'm looking at it on the tablet, so... Uh, and Mrs. Hobbaday, I think that's how I say it, played by Tessie O'Shee, I think I said it right, and, um, some of the other characters, like, oh yeah, also, because this kind of takes place during, uh, the 40s, I want to say, because during World War II, and with the three children, because, you know, they're, be, they're brought in, because, you know, at that time, you know, children, ha children had to be sent off because too dangerous to be, be there during the war, you know, um, and so, uh, Mrs. Price has to take them in, and also, what we don't know about Mrs. Price is she's kind of a witch, you know, and she receives her first broom, flying broomstick and such, um, and of course, oh yeah, because even Emilius, he's all, he too is like a wizard or something, I, I, I guess, I don't know, um, and, um, of course, with the bed, of course, and with the knob, you know, of course, tap, you know, tap on it three times, turn it, and takes you wherever you want to go. Um, oh yeah, even that cat, there's a cat in there as well, uh, Miss Price's cat, yeah. I, well, I just like, I know I've said this before, like, the, the animals in the live action Disney films, they act as though, like, if they were, like, saying in, like, the Disney cartoons, they act like the animals, like, in the Disney cartoons, you get what I'm saying? So yeah, um, Disney was, was clever and smart at what they did, you know? If you get what I'm saying. Um, and with, of course, like, we all, um, let me see, some of the other characters, like, Sam Jeff, he's, uh, he's the book man, and the, and Swin, Swinburne, played by Bruce Forsyth, I think that's how you say it, I, I don't know, um, kind of like crooks or bad guys, whatever, you know, they almost get their hands on the book, I guess you could say, uh, you know, because the book, you know, takes them to the island of Naboom Boom, and, uh, the animation, the entire sequence with animation to it, you know, and, uh, they fur they're under, they go down the beautiful briny sea, and there's, uh, the codfish played by Bob Holt, and actually, because I remember Bob Holt, he had done many voice work, including, like, say, I know that he also did the voice of Avatar in Ralph Bakshi's Wizards, so yeah, um, so yeah, and of course, the songs in this, well, hey, the Sherman Brothers, what can you say? And this was actually one of their last, this and the Aristocats were one of their last films, you know, uh, where, uh, you know, they did the songs. This, it was especially during that time after, say, um, after Walt had passed away, because, you know, the Sherman Brothers, it didn't, it just didn't feel the same without them. It didn't feel, it didn't feel the same without Walt to them, so, you know. Um, so the songs in this, like, you know, um, one of them, you know, bobbing, bobbing along on the beautiful briny sea, as we all know. Some of these songs, like that one, for example, they were originally going to be a Mary Poppins, but some of them, including this, wound their way up in other films. And this one, Beautiful Briny Sea, ended up in Ben Ups and Broomsticks. So, 
Um, and uh, music to that is great too, especially in the ballroom scene of the fish, you know. And of course, leading up to when the bed accidentally gets attached by a fishing hook, and we see the bear, you know, who's fishing, voiced by Dal McKenna, and you know, people, people, oh no, what scurvy luck. Yeah, it's Dal McKenna, so you know, legendary voice actor, and especially for Disney. Um, you know, and the thing is, because, you know, the bear says to them, you know, I have to throw you back, it's ordered by the king, no peopling allowed, you know, but it should say people instead and says no peopling. <laughs> like, the king can't, like, either the king or somebody else can't, don't know how to spell, you know, um, you know, but of course they do, of course, go to meet the king, which being the lion, and the lion's, um, right-hand man, I guess you could say, uh, bird, uh, the secretary bird, they're both, and they're both, the lion and the bird, they're both, they're both voiced by Lenny Win Winrib, I think that's how you say his last, I think that's how you say his last name, you know how I am with pronouncing last names like that, <laughs> okay, and actually, because the king, the lion, the king lion, I almost said lion king, but, you know, um, you know, he's actually a, you know, him and the rest of the animals, they, they do soccer, you know, and, um, you know, um, uh, Emilius offers to, like, to help out with the game and such, I guess be the, the one with the whistle, you know, and, um, you know, the game is on, and that's, that entire sequence is pretty good. I think one of my favorites, you know, the soccer game, and the thing is, like, the soccer, it's, the color of the soccer is almost like a, a, a basketball, like, I, I don't know. If it's a soccer, uh, then why is it not black and white? And why is it br why is it brown? Like, in the same color and look of, like, a, a, a basketball. Just, I don't know. Yeah, there's no, there's, there's no explanation, but, you know. And I love, I love those parts where, like, the animals, like, you know, uh, Emilius is right here and, like, you know, blows the whistle and <laughs> they just, like, run over him and such. I love those parts. And just one part where... Um, okay, so you know how with soccer, because, like, you know, two that would, you know, the ones that would catch it, block it and such. Well, the two being a gorilla and an elephant, and there's just one part where it keeps going back and forth between them. They keep it, they keep, they keep blocking it and such. And, you know, the lion's like, don't just stand there, head it in. They grab the rhino, and it hits his horn, and then, <laughs> and then there's one part where the lion just goes, stop. That body roars and sends everybody flying and such, you know? And up to when, you know, the lion, he does win. You know, game over, referee. Yeah, because Emilius is the referee, you know. I win! Blows the whistle because he's, like, worn out and, like, beat up and such. Well, you know, being run over, that kind of stuff. Um, and actually, because also, um, Miss Price and Emilius, their goal to get a star uh, from the king, because it's hanging around his neck, because there's, like, magic words to it, you know, and Emilius does a, is able to get it and such, as, like, uh, as he's talking to him, and, you know, have you ever heard of a thing called a gypsy switch, and no, can't say that I have, he does grab the star, they make their way out of there, uh, the secretary bird notices, and, you know, what's the matter with you, your royal star, they stole your royal star, har, har, and, what do you think this is? Blows the whistle and why didn't you say so? The lion like chases after them as they're on the bed about to go. Uh, Miss Price turns him into a rabbit because of a magic spell. Frickety, appety, whatever, you know. Um, it does work, you know, turns into a rabbit. They make their way back. And later on, because like, you know, they they do this, the, the spell, like the magic words on the star, you know, Traguna Macoitus, you know. And, you know, it makes these objects like clothes or whatever to walk around themselves, you know, and up to when, like, later on, because the Nazis come in, yep, because there's Nazis in this, um, they're just, like, coming in for a little while, uh, I forget it is what they're doing, but they're still, you know, like, Miss Price and the others, they're still not gonna have it, and they, the, Miss Price, some, like, uses the magic spell and summons this knight and sh this the knights in armor to like to, to to go chase off the the nazis and 
the visual effects are fantastic. And with that, you know, because with the, the, the armor and such and the music, you know, da -do -da -do -da, you know, however it goes, it's fantastic. And the Nazis, they do get scared off. They try firing and such, but nothing works. They do run away and such. And, um... Yeah, and even that that's in that town, you know, where most prices and such, like that that army, um I forget what they're supposed to be, but you know, and that song they sing, you know, dun dun da 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 it's a good song actually. Um everything is all everything, they all win and such, but of course, you know, the Nazis they spot her flying on the broomstick and the one general like saying that there's no such thing as a witch and he said he does say and we see the subtitles, the witch, and he said there was no such thing as a witch. They set off the bombs, and it causes Miss Price to fall off her broom and causes the knight in armor to, to you know, the magic to stop and such, you know. And uh, all it, all does end well, and uh, Emilius, he then, he joins um, the army, you know, the army that's in that town. And um, I guess, and at the end, because the ch the three kids, they, they get to live and, and be with Miss Price, because... They have no mother and father, and they've been staying, I guess, with their aunt and uncle, so, you know. But, yeah, and all end, again, all ends well. The credits roll. We get one more rendition of the song that I was mentioning that the army sings. Dun, dun, da, da, however it goes, you know, however it goes with the words. Apparently, we get, I guess, an end credit scene or something, I don't know, of the, of the book man, played by Sam Jeffy. So, I don't get the, I don't get the idea or... The reasoning for that but you know uh bed knobs and broomsticks it's a fantastic film you know and i say what one of another one of disney's gems you don't you think because everything about it is fantastic you know and uh with its cast of characters it's funny moments and and i love that i like that one part with malcolm mcdowell like he gets to see the magic happen uh, something to do with his hat, and he rides off his bike scared, just, you know, it's funny, but yeah, Ben Knobs and Broomsticks, 10 out of 10, I give, it, I give this film 10 out of 10 stars, it is a great film, and again, I think one of Disney's gems, you know, and just, you know, you guys let me know what you think, leave comments down below, and what you think of my review, just leave comments as always, so again, 10 out of 10 for Ben Knobs and Broomsticks, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Ben Knobs and Broomsticks, more reviews coming your way, they're gonna be awesome, keep looking forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review video. Take care, peace out, and of course, continuing on with the review marathon of classic live-action Disney films, up next, we're gonna be doing another film, Disney film, starring Dean Jones. Let's just say it has to do with uh, him uh, in the snow. You might know which one that is. Stay tuned for that. Peace out.